BISD Alumni Hall of Fame Ceremony. I'm Sylvia Hatton, Interim Superintendent for Brownsville ISD, and it is truly my honor and great privilege to be here this evening with all of you. At BISD, our mission is to graduate students ready for college, confident that they will be successful in college, and empowered to face all that comes before them in life. We are devoted to offering our students the highest quality of education and support systems. And we want them to always feel pride in the school from which they graduate. And tonight, I hope that that's how all of you feel. You are our distinguished alumni. We hope that when you hear your fight song, you still get chills, your heart still goes pitter-patter, you still want to stand up and fulfill all of the traditions that are part of being an alumni of a high school. And we hope that for the rest of your life, you will be proud to be a graduate of our amazing schools at Brownsville ISD. We're honored to be in your presence. We ask that you come back and visit us often, that you continue to mentor our students, to coach our teachers about, and administrators regarding how we can better serve our children, your children, our community's children. And we hope that if there's ever an opportunity for you to share with our students, the beautiful lives that you have had because of the quality education that you received in our classrooms and our school buildings. I often say, and I said earlier to Dr. Gallegos, our amazing principal at Veterans, that education has been the greatest blessing of my life. It has allowed me to live a life that exceeded even my wildest dreams and my most outrageous imagination. And I believe that I am in a room full of people who feel that same way. I know who you are. I know of you. And I know that many of you are like me, feeling very gifted, very blessed, and very honored that the education you received in Brownsville ISD has permitted you to live the life that exceeds your wildest dreams. That is our combined wish for every student who comes through our classrooms and our school buildings. So thank you for your success. Thank you for your compassion, for your giving heart, for your willingness to continue to be our partner in ensuring that every child lives their best life. I hope that you have a wonderful evening, and please know that you have a friend in us forever. I'd like to now introduce our board chairman and our members of our board of trustees. Board chair, Mrs. Minerva Peña. Our board vice president, Dr. Sylvia Atkinson. Still at work, but hopefully soon to arrive, our secretary, Dr. Prissy Roca Tipton. <laughs> Assistant Secretary, Mr. Philip Cowan. <laughs> Members, Drew Brown. <laughs> Erasmo Castro. And last but never least, Laura Perez Reyes. I would now like to invite our president of our board of trustees, Minerva Peña, to come forward and extend a welcome on behalf of the board.
Good evening, everyone. And I want to thank you so very much for making time in your day to be here. I know it's hard because it's at 5 o'clock and everybody's rushing to get dressed and find a place to park and then get inside. So I'm so glad you all made it. But most important, I want to thank you for believing in BISD and for promoting us and for being here tonight. Because we have here evidence of the wonderful job that our district does and evidence that the people who come through our district shine and excel at everything they do. And I want right now to give really a huge applause to all the teachers and administrators who make it possible to produce the outstanding students and adults that we do. Thank you to them from the bottom of my heart. And God bless each and every one of you. May you lack for nothing, want for nothing, and always be blessed and continue to bless our communities. Thank you so very much for being here. We're going to have dinner now, and then we'll continue with the program after you enjoy your meal. So please, everyone, enjoy. Good evening to everyone. We're going to go ahead and continue with the program. My name is Sandra Lopez, and I am the Area Assistant Superintendent for the Rivera Cluster, Lopez Cluster, and three alternative schools of choice. It gives me great pleasure to start with a recognition on this wonderful occasion of our alumni event. A day like this is very important as it gives us the opportunity to welcome back individuals that we consider our most important treasured human capital in our communities after attending our BISD schools and innovations to the world beyond our campuses and in our district and in our communities in which you all engaged in. As alumni who truly love and faithfully support this great institution, I know you share my pride in what we are doing and in what we plan to do. It is great to know as an organization and a, that we appreciate you, the ISD alumni, that have used or are using your influence to direct the involvement and the development of our society in a very positive way. This is why we're here to recognize our treasured alumni that are here this evening. Therefore, I will start introducing our very valued alumni, and I'm requesting that the board will come up here so that we'll, they will be recognizing our alumni and the principals. So we're going to go ahead and start with the Lopez Cluster, starting with the elementary, then middle school, and then high school. So as I call the school and the principal and their alumni guests, please come up to be recognized by our school board and our interim superintendent. Starting with the Lopez Cluster, Aiken Elementary, Dora Marquez is the principal. Representing her is the Dean Susie Valdez. Ms. Marquez is out ill. Our alumni guest, Gilbert Flores Jr. He is currently pursuing medical field. He is a medical student at the Universidad de Guadalajara. Thank you. Next, from Bright Elementary, Principal Nicole Clint. Her alumni was Margaret Clint, a retired teacher. Uh, Mrs. Clint was not able to be here due to illness. Therefore, let's just give her an applause because she was the alumni for uh, Bright Elementary. 
Nicole Clint is a school principal. If you'd like to be stand up and, and be recognized, Mrs. Clint. Thank you. El Jardín Elementary. Principal Marina Torres. Alumni guest Michael K. Benavides. He works for the city of Brownsville, firefighter and paramedic. Thank you. From Garza Elementary, Principal Maria Lara, alumni guest Jorge Hernandez. He is a BISD teacher at Pace Early College. Next school, Morningside Elementary. Principal Jose Martinez. Alumni guest Raul Cáceres. He works for the Brownsville Police Department as a traffic division officer. Next school, Palm Grove Elementary. Principal, Patricia Chacon. Alumni guest, Estela Chavez. Judge County Court of Law, number five. Next school will be Southmost. <laughs> Principal from Southmost, Annabella Almanza. Alumni guest, Anibal Barrial. He's an advisor at Theater Arts, Color Guard, and Dance at the ISD Fine Arts Department. Next school will be Bestado. From Bestado, Principal Teresa Nunez, alumni Karina Gomez, Brownsville ISD Police Security Service Police Officer. Next will be Lucio. <laughs> From Lucio Middle School, Principal Chester Arismendi, alumni guest, Jose Lial, Senior Consultant, Sustainability and Climate Change at Nevajet. <laughs> Next will be Lopez.
from Lopez High School Early College, Principal Dalia Aguilar, alumni guest Robert Garcia, Interim Assistant Director for Public Health for the City of Brownsville. Next cluster will be Rivera, starting with elementary, Breeden. <laughs> Breeden Elementary, Principal Mandy Delgado. Alumni guest, Raul Monguia, works with Southwest Key as a teacher. Next will be champion. From champion elementary, Principal Ricardo Torres, along I guess, Mariana Rodriguez, multimedia journalist, TV host for KBO Channel 23. Next school will be Gallegos. Gallegos Elementary, Principal Teresa Villafuerte, representing her is Mrs. F. Mata. Alumni is Feliciano Mata. He is a BISD school counselor at Manzano Middle School. <laughs> Next school will be Gonzalez. Gonzalez Elementary, Principal Billy Cobos, alumni guest Martha de la Garza, Field Supervisor, Texas Comptroller of Public Accountants. <laughs> Next, Peña Elementary. Peña Elementary, Principal Yolanda Turboville, alumni guest Eric Felix, and he is a pharmacist with Walgreens. <laughs> Next school will be Vermilion. Congratulations. Vermilion Elementary, Principal Socorro Hoteling, alumni, guest Jose Torres, works for the Department of Public Safety State Trooper. Yay! And we can see that.
Next call will be Garcia. Next, Garcia Middle School Principal Luis Segura. Alumni guest Rebecca Ramirez was not able to be here. She's an intern at Boeing Corporation, but her proud parents are representing her today, Mr. and Mrs. Ramirez. Next school, Perkins. Next school, Perkins Middle School, Principal Beatriz Hernandez, alumni guest. Edder F. Hernandez, Chief PA, Dr. at Valley Medical Urgent Care. <laughs> Next will be Rivera. Rivera Early College High School, Principal Norma Canales, alumni guest Jesus Samano, works for the Brownsville ISD, Sergeant Samano. We're going to start with BAC, the alternative schools. Next, we have from back, Principal Hector Hernandez, alumni, Marta Gonzalez, former BISD teacher and currently the executive director of Big Heroes Company. Next, we'll go with Lincoln Park School of Choice, Principal Don Hall, alumni guest, Drew Connell, Corporal with the Texas Department of Public Safety. Oh, another one. Next school of choice, Brownsville Early College High School, Principal Amy Garza-Limon, 
alumni guest, Carlos A. Rodriguez, staff attorney at Refugee and Immigrant Center for Education and Legal Services. At this time, let's give a big hand to all the alumni from the Lopez, Rivera, and Alternative alumni. At this time, I'd like to invite Ms. Alma Rubio to come up and continue the recognition of her assigned campuses. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Alma Rubio. I am the, one of the assistant superintendents and is so proud to see all of you here. BISD family continues to grow as you have your students, you come back to our district, and it's an honor to be able to make these announcements. I'm going to be starting off with one of the clusters that I supervise, which is the Porter Cluster. And I'm going to start off with Porter High School school principal Mary Solis and our proud Erasmo Castro BISD board member. So, Mr. Castro, you must make the walk. You must make the walk. <laughs> One more time, please help me recognize our Porter High School alumni selected Mr. Erasmo Castro, BISD board member. Our next campus is Falk Middle School. Our school principal is Benita de Arial, and our very own Rose Longoria, principal from BISD Pace High School, a state HEB finalist, and our NCUS principal, Mrs. Rose Longoria. Canales Elementary, our school principal, Dr. Edward Udi, and our BISD alumni is Ruben Peña, attorney at law, who owes his own law office. Thank you very much for being here today. Thank you. 
We take a picture. We take a picture. We take a photo. Our next elementary school is Castan Castaneda Elementary, Principal Nora, Nora Camargo, and our very own Lucy Hernandez, Principal at BISD Risaca Elementary. Congratulations, Lucy. Our next school is Cromack Elementary. Our principal is Julie Garcia. Our very proud alumni, Juan Antonio Rosendo. He owes a Texas game Warren. He could not be here, but he is proudly represented by his mother, Evelia Juarez Rodriguez. Our next school is Del Castillo. Proud principal Petra Torres. Our alumni is Alma Garza Gracia, BISD teacher. Congratulations. Our next school is Longoria Elementary, proud principal, Mirta Garza. Our BISD alumni, Aurora Taylor, secretary for certified public accountants and Roberto Perez firm. Congratulations. Our next school is Putnam Elementary, proud principal, Dr. Aide Vasquez. Our proud alumni selected is Joanna Esparza, teacher at BISD at Putnam Elementary. Congratulations. Our next school is Risaca Elementary. Our proud BISD alumni and principal, Lucy Hernandez, and our alumni selected is Michael Padron, teacher at BISD Risaca Elementary.
Our next school is Sharp Elementary. Our proud principal, Irma G. Segura. Our alumni selected is David Guajardo Rendon, insurance broker, owner, and Crown Financial. Congratulations. Our next school is Skinner Elementary. Our proud principal, Mary E. Rodriguez. And our alumni selected is Noemi Garcia Martinez, Cameron County Juvenile Court Judge, Attorney at Law, and Law Firm. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next school is Victoria Heights, proud principal, Ruben Martinez, and our alumni selected is Albert Butereira, Detective Crimes Against Persons Division, Brownsville Police Department. Congratulations. Our next school is Pace High School, proud principal, Rose Longoria. Our select alumni is Dr. Elsa Cardenas Hagen, owner of the Valley Speech and Language and Learning Institute. Congratulations. Our next school is Manzano Middle School. Proud principal Marisole Trevino. Alumni selected is Walter E. Velasquez, firefighter, EMT paramedics, Brownsville Fire Department. Congratulations. Our next school is Stell Middle School. Our proud principal, Obed Lial. Alumni is Mary E. Sorola, Justice of Peace, Precinct 2 and 3, Cameron County. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. 
Our next school is Benavides Elementary. Our proud principal, Sherry Stout. Alumna is Jesus E. Lopez, Contract Linguistics Department of Justice of FBI. Congratulations. Our next school is Garden Park Elementary Proud Principal Victor Caballero. Our alumni selected is Alicia P. Martinez, teacher at BISD Garden Park Elementary. Congratulations. Our next school is Keller Elementary. Our proud principal, Javier Garza. Our next school is Martin Elementary, our proud principal, Gilted Joe Peña. Our proud alumna is Hector Sandoval Jr., a retired U.S. Navy veteran, owner of the Helping Hands Interpreting Agency, and also has his children here at BISD. Congratulations. Our next school is Ortiz Elementary, our proud principal, Mrs. Patricia Garza. Our alumni for today is Gabriel Garza, captain, firefighter, paramedics, Brownsville Fire Department, and also has his children here at Ortiz Elementary. Congratulations. Our next school is Russell Elementary. Our proud principal, Oscar Cantu Jr. Alumni is Jeanette Damayo, teacher at BISD Russell Elementary. Congratulations. Our next school is our Brownsville Learning Academy Middle School. Our proud principal, Noe Garcia, alumni, is Veronica Flores, admissions counselor at UTRGV. Congratulations.
Our next school is Brownsville Learning Academy High School. Our proud principal, Teresa De Sato, and our very own Philip Cowan, attorney at law, BISD board member. Congratulations. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you our next speaker, which would be our Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Dora Salceda. Thank you, Ms. Rubio. Could I please have the Hannah and Veterans uh, Principals please sign up? Just, just a few words. Uh, this is one of the best events that we have in the district because we recognize a lot of our ex-alumni and uh, we should all be very, very proud because a lot of the alumni constantly give back to the district. So thank you for all you do. We really do appreciate all your hard work and dedication to our district. And with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get it started with Hannah, Early College High School, Principal Blanca Lombardi, and one of our very own, and now the Superintendent of Port Isabel ISD, Ms. Terry Alacorn. Oliveira Middle School. Congratulations, Ms. Alacon. Next, we have Oliveira Middle School. Uh, Ms. Castro could not be here today, but representing her is uh, the Dean of Instruction, Mr. Bill Gutierrez, and our alumni, Omar Juarez, professional athlete from Premier Boxing Champions. Congratulations. From Vela Middle School, we have Principal Mr. Joe Wood and the alumni being recognized is Ms. Linda Lerma, Coastal Ecologist, Texas Parks and Wildlife. If I could have Burns Elementary line up. Next, we have Burns Elementary, Mr. Ociel Guerrero, and alumni being recognized is Ms. Catherine Perez, teacher from Burns Elementary. Thank you. 
patients with you. Congratulations. From Egli Elementary, we have principal Mr. Pedro Vidal, and with him, the alumni, is Mr. David Hernandez, K-12 Educational Development Executive for Apple. Congratulations, David. Next, we have from Hudson Elementary, Principal Rachel Ayala and our very own Juan J. De Leon, Jr., Program Coordinator for State Compensatory Department, BISD, and also a TSE board member. Congratulations, JJ. And next we have from Paredes Elementary, Principal Melissa Werbisky, and the alumni is Mr. Jose L. Coelho, Enrique, Senior Technology Engineer for PNC Bank. Congratulations. From Perez Elementary, we have Mr. Michael Moreno, principal, and with uh, his alumni is Ms. Bertha M. Guerra, choir director for San Benito CISD. Congratulations, Ms. Guerra. And la last but not least, we continue with Veterans Cluster, beginning with Veterans Memorial High School, Principal Dr. Linda Gallegos, and the alumni being recognized tonight is Ashley Ann Reese, Epidemiology Technician, Cameron County Public Health.
Congratulations. Next, we have Stillman Middle School Principal Eduardo J. Martinez, and with him is his proud dad, Eduardo Martinez, retired teacher, Cummings Middle School. Proud son and dad moment. Next, we have Fulham Elementary. Principal Celia de los Santos and the distinguished alumni, Mr. Lorenzo Ponce, Supervisory Special Agent Investigations, Department of Homeland Security. Next, we have Villanueva Elementary Principal Melissa Gutierrez and the distinguished alumni tonight is Raul Garza III, Assistant Band Director, Riverside Middle School in San Benito CISD. And last but certainly not Thank you. Now, while we allow the board to take a seat, we have a very special moment oh, if, thank you. where the assistant superintendents are going to call on one of the alumni to come and share a story. And we're beginning with uh, one of my schools, and that would be Ms. Terry Alarcon. She's going to come up and talk about her time as a as, as strutter and eagle, class of 85. Good evening. It is so wonderful to see so many familiar faces, friends. After being a BISD employee for 30 years, it certainly does feel like coming back home today. Uh, I am a very, very proud graduate of the Hanna High School Eagles Class of 85. Go Eagles! And I am so humbled to be here tonight as an alum of this incredible school district. 
I would not be able to be where I'm at if it wasn't for our school district. Growing up as a child, being involved in so many school activities was my go-to. Uh, being a first-generation college grad, I love school. I was involved in so many events, so many activities, and the school district from elementary, from where's Mr. Moreno, Perez Elementary? Where are you? Okay, he left. <laughs> Perez Panthers to Hannah High School. School was a place that I loved to be at. And many of our students that are in your schools now are no different than me. So keep on doing what you are doing because you are making a difference. Look at all of these folks that are here today and so many others that are not just here in Brownsville but throughout the nation and the world. And everything that has made a difference in my life continues to make difference in so many of the students that are in our school district that are in BISD today. So on behalf of my family, because they are reaping the rewards of breaking the cycle of poverty because of what BISD did in my life, I thank you so much. Continue doing the great work that you are doing. I am proud to say that BISD was my home for 30 years after graduation and I am taking with me so many of the things that I learned here because great things are happening in BISD and now they're happening in our neighboring districts. So thank you so much. God bless and continuing making great things happen for Brunson. The next speaker is Jose Leal. He graduated from Lopez. Mr. Rodriguez Leal, a former alumni from Lucio Middle School, is without a doubt one of the most successful students the school has had the pleasure of educating. He definitely left his mark at Lucio Middle School and at Lopez Middle School with his numerous achievements, his remarkable persona, and his passion to excel. Rodrigo involved his Lucio teachers and his Lopez teachers for his graduation. He graduated from Harvard University. So let's invite Mr. Jose Leal to share some words with us. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I wasn't expecting any of this. I, I was at work one day and then I get a call and then, Rodrigo, get over here to Brownsville. Your mom's waiting for you. And I was like, who's this? This is 956 number. It's, uh, it's Ms. Duran from Lucy, remember? And I'm like, yeah, I think so. <laughs> He's like, you have to get over here. Your mom's going to get mad. And now, now I'm here. <laughs> and, and then I was asked to speak, and I was like, I didn't prepare anything, so I'm going to have to wing it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was at, I was at uh, Lucio Middle School earlier today. Um, and <laughs> and uh, I met with my teacher who nominated me, Miss Sarguez. She was my, my reading and writing teacher. Um, and I remember. It was weird to be back in the classroom, even though it hasn't been that long. And she asked me to give some words of advice to the students, and I'm like, well, I'm only 25, I don't really know what, I don't really know what I could say. <laughs> uh, but, but what I did tell them was that um, I remember being in her classroom, and uh, Ms. Arguella showed us a, a documentary that just came out, and it was about uh, climate change and about Hurricane Katrina. And that had just happened not, not too long. Uh, not too long before she showed us that video. And um, I remember seeing the images of people like on their, on their homes, the flooding, um, and that really like struck me as a, as a, as a kid. And um, that took me back and I was like, wow, I think I can pinpoint like that exact moment where I became passionate about a particular subject which was like environmental science. Um, and now it's, now, after graduating from Harvard, having studied environmental science, um, that's what I do for a living. I, I work on climate change related issues with cities. And uh, I just thought that that was super cool that I was able to have, share that moment with the students. And, um, but I also told them that I don't know what I did to deserve this honor, um, but I'm coming here more as an ambassador of, of my class because um, so many of my classmates were 
uh, went on to do extraordinary things. Um, one of my classmates is now an actress in Chicago. Another one uh, works for NASA. Another one is gonna become a doctor. And so I wanted to just come here and express my thanks, um, especially to another fellow honoree, which is my, <laughs> my high school counselor, Ms. Luz Zamora. Uh, <laughs> because if it, if, it, if it weren't for people like her, I mean, none of us would have been able to, to be where we are right now. And uh, I, I, I told her that she really got two awards today, not just her award. Um, and then also my mom, because um, I don't know where I would be without my mom, so. <laughs> Thank you. And our last speaker, you know, when you serve as a Cameron County Juvenile Court Judge and Attorney at Law, you definitely have to have a heart for it. And when you are recommended by the judges and then appointed, there's something special about you. And today, you've made BISD proud. So I'd like to welcome you again, Noemi Garcia Martinez, alumni for Skinner Elementary. Thank you, everyone. Unfortunately, they told me about half an hour ago that I was going to say something. So I have nothing prepared, but fortunately, it'll go by really fast, right? And so thank you all so much for attending. I really appreciate that. It is definitely an honor to be here as a Hall of Fame uh, alumni. I really appreciate that. Like someone said before, when you hear your fight song, that's always your song. Well, I'm pace biking through and through, right? So that's just me. With my job is very unique. I actually see the juveniles um, ages 10 through 17 in handcuffs. So the, I, I see the children who are arrested for the terroristic threats, for the possession of controlled substance, for unauthorized use of motor vehicles, the, you know, so I'm, those are the children that I get to see every day um, in and out, okay? And unfortunately, there's a lot of repeat offenders that I see. And one of the main problems that we have in juvenile is not drugs, but it's mental illness, okay? And you will see the depression, the anxiety that these children feel every day. So although it's an honor to be here, I'm gonna make it a challenge for everyone here to go back to your school and talk to these students. And even if it's not in your school, go back to another school and tell them that there's always a different path to, to take, okay? It's not drugs. It's not hanging out with gangs. It's a different path. And I would encourage everyone to do that, to go out and to speak as a mentor to these students, because they really do need your help, okay? Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. And if you all ever need anything, I'm only a phone call away. Thank you. What a wonderful evening. Y'all can see I'm still emotional from hearing our, 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 our speakers. I look around the room, a lot of us are. I've, I've said many times, and probably my most favorite quote is from Dr. Louis Pasteur, and it's what drives me as an educator. And he, he said a very long time ago, when I see a child, he inspires in me two sentiments, tenderness for what he is, and respect for what he may become. And when I hear these stories, and I hear these different wonderful alumni who are entering our Hall of Fame at Brown ISD, and I hear your professional backgrounds, your personal stories, I can't help but marvel at the wonder that the education profession is. And I know that I speak for every single principal and administrator, educator in this room, when I say to all of our honorees, we respect what you have become and we welcome you into our family once again. Thank you so much for this wonderful evening. We bid everyone a good night and we say to you mil gracias y muchos abrazos. Hasta mañana.